sit down, my king. I said to the young Frederic Roger as he entered the garden. It is time for your studies. Your German tutors have no doubt told you of the deeds of your Teutonic grandfather. I knew that story by heart, the boy king replied proudly. Indeed, I said with a wink. But I will tell you of the other side of your family. For you are firstly a son of Sicily. Ah, dear Sicily. A kingdom like no other, where three peoples were fused under the southern sun and formed the jewel that lies between east and west. It was the Norman side of your family that made it all possible. Normandy was a cold northern land of steel and chivalry, but it was also overflowing with the younger sons of minor barons, men aspiring to a greatness that exceeded the constraints of birth and station. This story, your story, begins with your great-grandfather's brother, Robert de Hauteville, a man of immense stature, with fair hair, broad shoulders, and eyes that all but shot out sparks of flame. Robert was driven and possessed that incorrigible confidence that melts away doubts and allows ambition to keep pace with imagination. More cunning than any foe he faced, he was ever vigilant to seize any advantage, win through any means, and remain unbound by the rules of lesser men. You speak of him as a great man, but what did he do? The boy king asked, his eyes now wide with childish enthusiasm. I answered, Robert, was the first to unite all Italian Normans under a single ruler. But his origins were very humble. He came from Normandy to Italy with scarcely 30 followers and sought fortune in this land that so often rewards those with the daring and brilliance to seize it. You are not in Normandy, Robert. I make the rules here. Leave Italy before I have you and your band of robbers hung from my tower. I did not come all the way from Normandy for this. If you will not give me the lands I deserve, I will take them myself. My brother is a fool. We are not going back to Normandy empty-handed. The Norman barons are not yet suspicious of me. I can take advantage of that. Come, Normans! a drink and tell me of our homeland. I hear Duke William has gotten himself into some trouble. <laughs> Poor little bastard. more of your type to further the Lombard cause. Come to my castle and let us make a deal. It is settled then. You will defend my lands, fight my enemies, and pay tribute when I ask. 
That is the price of these lands I give you. Salutamo. Ordini. Puntadini. Pronto su. Puntadini. Puntadini. Pay no mind to my soldiers in your fiefdom. They ensure that you will think twice before betraying me.
salutando. Giusto. Muratore. Pronto sogno. Taglia legna. Normans, you came here because there is nothing for us in Normandy. Duke William is a bastard, barely clinging to power there. Join me, and you will be lords of Italy. Betray me, and you will not live long. Lord Robert, we have heard of your exploits and wish to serve you. Se si capiva, o faccio, se signori. A vostro servizio, o faccio, se signori. Se, vero. Taglia legna. Immediatamente. Minaturi. Thank <laughs> you. 
Robert, my dear brother. In the court of Duke William, they tell tales of you fighting giants and dragons. They call you Gisgar, the cunning fox. I had to come and see for myself. Do not believe every tall tale whispered in a bastard duke's court, brother. Robert Giscard comes! Protect your homes from this devil! Things are changing in Normandy, Robert. Duke William has plans to conquer England. But I would rather fight alongside my brother, here in Italy. Oh, 
The Italian peasants make poor fighters. Get on your horses, men. We will conquer okay. other Norman baronies to grow our warband. Moratori. Salutamo. Pronta. Moratori. Taglialegna. Good! 
We have heard of your exploits and wish to serve you.
Prontas por camino, orden camino, fe con camino. Orden. Braccia, braccia, ordini, puntati, va bene, se, puntati. Sì, 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 Salutiamo. 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 Sal
Minus Orbini. Runtasu. Muraturi. Salutamu. Sessi. Taglia linea. Oh, no, 
Taglia legna. Muratori. Sì, sì. Muratori. treacherous body from my ramparts.
your own brother? You dishonor our father's name. Bury my brothers, Drogo and Humphrey, with honors. No one speaks of what we have done here. Is that understood? to Constantinople and tell your emperor that Robert de Hauteville calls for him. His court historians will soon know my name well. Normans, remember why we came to Italy. We will be ruthless, we will conquer, we will take and kill and make a name for ourselves in this land like our father's fathers did in Normandy. Join me and I will lead us to greatness. The Italians called Robert Giscard, the cunning fox. In a few decades, he had brought all of southern Italy to heel. But his imagination and his cunning would carry him across the horizon to new conquests. Where did he go next? The boy king nearly jumped up as he asked. That is a story for tomorrow. Not even a king can learn all of history in a single day. I remained in the garden as young Frederic Roger hurried off, a smile resting on my face. Already, I could see in him the shadow of his forefathers. Perhaps one day, this boy would eclipse them all. <laughs>